Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Weather Cup using Cradley, Bastodon, and Polyrath. I really don't have one specifically that I want to focus on to be honest. They all did well. Uh, I think I was going to go with Cradley, but who knows what I'm going to title this video. All I know is this team did well and Bastodon is a son of a gun, that is for sure. I mean, <laughs> you just straight wall things a lot of times in this cup with it. Unless you're going up against something that has ground or fighting, uh, I'm not going to say it's a wrap, but you're going to be looking pretty good. It's just one of these Pokemon that kind of just breaks Go Battle League at times here. But hey, whatever. Of course, it is going to be XL. We do not have enough to completely max it out. We still need to get some more. We'll work on that. No problem at all. And then the Polyrath is going to be going with Dynamic Punch and Ice Punch. With that said, if you do enjoy my content, please give it a thumbs up. And I want to say something really quick. Uh, I really appreciate the support in the last video. It seems like you all are on the same boat on how Go Battle League keeps our win percent at around 50%. I'm not saying right on the dot, okay? Around it, okay? So when I play a lot of other games, I don't know, Street Fighter or whatever the hell else that shows your win percentage, I'm always at about, I'm not trying to brag, okay? Look, I'm not saying I'm some sort of gaming god, which is not the case. But I'm usually sitting at about 75 to 70 to 80 maybe percent win rate, right? Not with this damn game. Mm -mm. But we'll leave it at that and move on here. But anyways, yeah, appreciate that. And for the people who want to deny it, and don't even waste your time posting things on Reddit or, I don't know, wherever else those neckbeard or noodle people hang out. Just, just don't even waste your time. They're kind of like Steven Seagal. <laughs> here, we'll, we'll put up a clip really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Do you still fight? Yes, I do. You still dangerous? <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's see what is good here. So, again, I got Gathena right next to my foot. She's literally, I don't know, I, I took her to the range. I think it kind of scared her. So, But I'm kind of trying to desensitize her to those kind of sounds so she can be more of a help than running around scared, if you know what I mean. Anyways, what's good here? So we're up against... Uh, Ludicolo. Okay, that could be a big threat with that Razor Leaf. But Bastodon is just going to walk all over it, or should I say stomp all over it. Look at it, we bring it in their own Bastodon themselves. Okay, okay. So yeah, you're going to want to go with Flamethrower. Still really not doing too much, but at this point, looks like they're going to be able to come out of this with energy. Now, what, what can we do here? Can we swap? Oh yeah, we, we totally. But I think it's going to be best that we just stay right where we're at. Until, <laughs> as I say that. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So we resist all of those. Now they're bringing in an Obama Snow, but this is going to work out okay for us because we still have Cradley, which is still going to be able to do something to the Bastodon. So we're going to go ahead and bring in the Bastodon. Go for Flamethrower because that's going to be four times effective to the grass and the ice. Down goes the Obama Snow, and they're going to be able to farm us up here. Now we're going to be looking pretty good here. We can take a couple of charge moves coming from them. Those Smackdowns are really going to start to add up here. So we're going to go ahead and shield up the first one. They're going Stone Edge. Is that more effective? I think it might be. All right, so we're just going to go for the Grass Knot, of course. We're not going for a Stone Edge up against the Steel type, of course. Going to hit another one of these, and it looks like that's going to be enough. Almost a couple more quick moves. We will be able to survive this. And then Bullet Seed down the Bastard on that tank over there. And we're taking the win with the Cradley Shiny at the end. Leading with Cradley the entire time. Met with a Ludicolo, and what is it going to be? A Bubble which is going to be doing a decent amount of damage. Yes, we're part grass, but also rock. So they're going to be able to charge up pretty fast. We're going to let this first one go. And of course, it is going to be a super effective ice beam. They're not going to be able to completely farm us down here. I knew they'd let this go. So how this is going to work is we get a shield here. We go in with the Bastion. We farm down and we're going to be at a one to one shield. We're getting rid of this thing that is going to be kind of threatened by the Polyrath is was well, the Polyrath is threatened by the Ludicolo, but it does have Bubble, but we don't want to get hit by a, I don't know, Leaf Storm or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our Bastodon to go ahead and absorb that, hitting me with an Ice Beam first, and getting to another one here. And if I do recall this correctly, it's Hydro Pump. Okay, well, okay. I'm just calling everything incorrect, huh? Yeah, let's go. Poke, did you even do these battles? All right, we're going for a Flamethrower, which was a complete idiotic screw up here. Should have went for Stone Edge. They're shielding it up anyways. And we're making a swap, and they're bringing in a Pelipper. Now it's not looking too good. I think the only way we're going to be able to pull this one off is if we really start calling charge moves here and get real close to the edge. Let's see. I have to let this go. I mean, the... <laughs> Weather Balls, we know they're not going Hurricane. They're going to farm us up so they can have energy to take 
out the bastion on or at least do some decent damage to it but the switch clock is looking pretty close at this point and they're going to be able to farm us down here bringing in the bastard on we've still got two shields now we got to shield this up because it is super effective and it does do a decent amount of damage they're going to be bringing in that auroras here and we got to get to the stone edge otherwise that's a wrap we're going to call that letting the weather ball go not very effective and i think i let this one go as well this is what i'm talking about on how you're going to just have to hold your ground i know it gets a little nervous sometimes but this is what it takes to win with this damn algorithm over here all right so we're going to go for the smackdowns that take the win with barely any health left now they did have energy they just they just couldn't do it they had to get to two next battle met with the samurai now if we can land this grass now that's gonna one shot them and they do let this go i don't know probably because they got a counter for this here but i mean if they got a counter which is fire or fighting i guess the fighting is going to be okay from the stone edge but in this case it's a low of marowak bone club is really not doing much because of the grass typing and we're just going to go for stone edge which is absolutely going to devastate them so they let it go i swap into the bastard on and as soon as they see it they're like yeah i don't want any more of this and they back out we take that win let's keep it moving here i went uh three two four one and 4-1 so yeah it was pretty good so looking great all positive sets here okay so we're gonna see the bastard on up against the toxapex here this is a winning matchup for us here yeah they're gonna be able to spam brine over and over and over again but our stone edge plus the smackdowns are really accumulating plus the resistance of the poison jab which is gonna be nice while the smackdown does continuously add up over and over and over again here we're going to be looking great now. They do shield up this thing so they could potentially win the swap here. So let's see how we want to play this. And letting that go because we can take all of these all day. But I do believe at this point we may want to shield up. So we're not hitting all the bubbles I wanted to farm up maybe. I think that would have been enough to take them out anyways. But they're shielding up nonetheless. So what we're going to do is shield up. Hopefully we can farm them down here. And great. One more smackdown does it. Bringing back the lantern. We need the alignment with the cradley. We cannot have... Polyrath going up against that otherwise it's a wrap but here's the unfortunate part is they're farming up a whole heck of a lot and we're going to be part rock with the cradley so they're going to be able to spam surf but they go for thunderbolt here I don't I'm confused folks don't tell me they don't have surf was it a mistap maybe okay but don't tell me they're not skilled with this level there's no freaking way they're retreating with energy bringing in a sand slash and that's a wrap we bring in our polyrath and there's really no way they could win that and we're taking the win, moving it on to our next opponent. What are we going to see? We got a Frost Last, which is going to be super effective to the grass typing on us. Uh, this is kind of an annoying situation, but we'll have to play around it. We could have baited a little bit better, I think, but hey, what it is is what it is. All right, so we're going to be shielding up that first one here, going for a Stone Edge, in which we could have made this Grass Knot. It's not like grass is resisted by Ghost or Ice, so we still would have done a decent amount if they let it go. Plus, they had the gamble on pretty much getting one-shotted by Stone Edge. So they would probably shield it up anyways. And by the time we double baited and then went for a Stone Edge, we could have maybe outpaced them. But you already know it. Would have, could have, should have, would have, could have. We're all using our shields over here. They're using up that energy. And we, you already know we're going to be bringing in that Bastion to farm them all the way down. And let's see what they have in the back. We're going to be coming out of this with a lot of energy. Doesn't look like they want to swap and lock themselves, which is probably the better idea to kind of just go down with the ship at this point instead of locking yourself into a bad matchup. And they're bringing in Empoleon, and we're going to go ahead and swap with Energy on our Bastodon here. Now, this Drill Peck is going to be doing a decent amount, but here's the thing. Polyrath is a thick boy and can take those hits, and they're allowing me to land this Dynamic Punch. What do you have in the back, sir? It's going to be a Ninetales. That's a wrap. Going to get to the Dynamic Punch. This is going to do a lot. Solar Beam coming from a uh, Shadow Ninetales is... might cut it, actually, on the Bastodon. But here's the thing, they're not going to be able to get to that because they got to throw the Weather Ball here. And then they're throwing this again, which is definitely not Solar Beam. But that's okay. We're looking good anyways. It doesn't really matter. Getting to the Stone Age, don't need to hit any of these. Just in case they got to another one. I'm not trying to play stupid games and trying to find out, if you know what I mean. Okay, so we got a Whiskash. This is great. Now, it's not all doom and gloom for them as they know this. They're not retreating, which is great. Because they know they can bait and then maybe go for Blizzard and, you know, or build up to a blizzard and threaten with that and get a shield right out the gate here which i do believe we actually shield up i don't even think they had enough <laughs> so they're getting a shield and swapping into a kingdra and we're going to go ahead and bring in our bastard on here we're going to be taking a decent amount from the octazuka i mean not nah, really look at this nah it's okay it's nothing crazy they did lower our attack by two stages so we do have that going against us at this point 
going for the Stone Edge. Now what we want to do for this matchup here is actually you're going to see how I do not tap on the charge moves and I did that intentionally because we want to lose this so we can go in here and kind of farm up with our next Pokemon, right? So they're going to be hitting their charge move right out the guy. Oh my gosh, I got to the next one. I'm going to be able to take him out. Oh, yeah, no, I let you do that. I needed that to happen so I can go in here and farm you down with the Polyrath. And now we're going to be coming out of this with a whole lot of energy. Let's go. Bring it on. Bring in that Whiskash. And there it is. We already know it's going to be a Mud Bomb. They're not going to be going for Blizzard. That's not very effective, but that's still doing a decent amount. Going to go straight for the Dynamic Punch. We've already gotten a shield out of them. They want a double shield. Great. Well, not, not double shield at this point. Just using their last shield. We make a simultaneous swap as I do bring in the Cradley. They're going to be bringing in their Ludicolo. Okay, no problem. So we're going to keep on going with the Grass Knob since they're going to be part water. This is still doing a decent amount of damage. Getting a shield out of them. Great. So it's getting pretty close here. We get to the next one and I'm thinking, hmm, should I let it go? No, we're going to have to shield this up. <laughs> and going for the Grass Knot to take out that Ludicolo. Switch clock is not up. Oh, we're there. We're there. But e, we got to the Ice Punch. Literally, we needed that quick move. That was it. We survived with one HP. One more quick move and we were out. That quick move they got through right there, that KO'd us. But since we're allowed to get to this Ice Punch, we take the win. Let's go, boys and girls. Let's go. All right. So there you have it. Nice 4-1. All right. Sweet. Regia Ice. So about this, if you are on my friends list and you're sending me invites, I might join once in a while. But I'm going to kind of cool it and save my money for Vegas or the next good raid boss because I do not need Reggie Ice. I do not need a shiny. I'm not trying to get XL candies. I guess I can collect rare candies, but I can do that another time. I'm already stacked up on like 1400 Next battle met with a Frostlass. Okay, we got this situation going on again. So since I did go up against it before, I kind of learned from that. So we're going to go ahead and try to just go for these baits here and see if we can come out with a different outcome. Got those nice voice crackles going on here. Need to drink some water. Let's go. We're not going to stop this video. No interruptions. Just going to keep it going here. I'm going to go for the Stone Edge now. If they want a double shield, then shoot, by all means, be my guest. And they're going to be doing that. Great. And we're definitely not. They're going to have to kind of... You know, they would have to throw, but we weren't going to get to the Stone Edge. And they're swapping into an Empoleon with energy on their Frostlass. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Polyrath. We already know we're going to be able to survive this. Now let's just hope that there's something in the back that the Bastodon can handle. If there is a fighter, it's pretty much a wrap for us. For, you know, with counter, uh, we're going to lose. Yeah, yeah, it, it'll be over, pretty much. So let's see. They bring the Frostlass back, I think. We try to hit the Ice Punch. Unfortunately, we don't. They're going to take us out with an Avalanche. Not very effective. We bring in the Bassett on to start farming up. What is in the back? It is a... Gra oh, it's this one. Oh. <laughs> we were looking good, but I bring in my Cradley just for lulls. And we actually get to the Grass Knot. I, I kind of... I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my goodness. Let's go. Next battle. Empoleon. Interesting matchup here. They're going to be doing a decent amount with their Quick Move as well as Hydro Cannon. Because of the part Rock on us. But at the same time, we're really not super effective to them because of the steel. So it's a weird double edge, not very effective, kind of effective matchup going on here. So we will shield that up, knowing we will be able to outpace them, sort of, not really, at this point. They're gonna, they can't farm us down, so they're gonna be forced to throw. So they swap with energy, bring in, all I saw was fire, so I just threw the stone edge. All I saw was fire, Ambroar, okay, sounds good, so we're gonna swap into our Polyrath here, we did just get their last shield, and we're going to go for the Dynamic Punch right out the gate here. There's really nothing they can do. Pretty much almost one-shotting that thing, and we're going to let this go. It's going to be a Blast Burn. Most damage that they can do. Farming, this down, farming them down. Farming us down. Now, I shield this up, having a sneaky suspicion something in the back is weak to fighting, and we farm them down, and they do back out. They're like, nah, I'm good. I got that Graveler cradley. <laughs> All right, next battle. What are we going to see here leading with that cradley again? An Omnistar. Okay, this is great. They're going to be swapping into a Seeking. Now, we're going to go ahead and just throw a Grass Knot before we do bring in our Polyrath here. We're not going to bring in Bastodon because, well, Drill Run is not going to one-shot, but it's going to do a whole hell of a lot of damage. So we'll just go ahead and bring in the Polyrath, and that did a little bit more than expected. Uh, yeah, we can't really survive another one of those. That was not great. So I'm thinking, okay, I guess I'm going to have to use a Shield here. Can I farm you down? Yes, I will, and I can. So let's go. And they're bringing back a Cradley Shadow. Now, I have one myself. 
and if you saw my IVs on the shiny creator layer I'm using, you're like, you got 15 attack, man. That's really not that great. Oh, so you think. There's a lot of cradles roaming around here, and I will win CMP up against every single one of these tryhards who are trying to go in here with the perfect IVs. That was a little bit of a jab, a little bit of a stab. I shouldn't have said tryhards. People who are going with the optimal IVs. How about that? Okay. <laughs> That's why, you know, I got 15 attack and we got a mirror match. I win. GG's. All right, so taking out the Omnistar and Cradley. There's Shadow. Oh, boy. Let's get it on here. So we're going to let that go. Holding on to one shield. Getting to our Grass Knot. We're going to take that win up against their Shiny. Or should I say Shadow? I was, I was looking at my Shiny. Shinies and Shadows are all not the same, but, you know, all kinds of different categories. Next battle met with a Ludicolo Weak Connection. Lovely. This one does have Razor Leaf. So it's going to take it a minute to actually get to the charge moves here while they are really digging in. Letting that first Grass Knot go. And we should be able to get to another one after this. Maybe. Should be pretty close. So they're shielding that up as expected here. And no. No, okay, never mind. We were there pretty much. But they farmed us down as we were getting to the next one, unfortunately. We're going to let this go. And it is going to be a Hydro Pump. There's that one I was thinking of. So we're going to get rid of that Razor Leaf user. Polyrath can roam free now. They got a pseudo. Ooh, it's this one. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is crazy. So we swap. They bring in a Lantern. So the only way we're going to be able to pull this off is we land this. Great. And we're going to have to bait them for the next one. So... We have to get a shield from a not very effective Ice Punch. If we can do that, we're going to be on track to potentially pulling this off here. Polyrath, gotta love it, folks. This thing is amazing. All right, so we're getting a shield. Great. And we're getting to the Dynamic Punch. Looked like that was pretty much a CMP there. And this is going to be enough to take out that Lantern, folks. Let's go. And we are going to get to this. We still do have a shield left to get to the Charge move, but that's okay. We have that shield holding on to it until the very end. You better believe it. And we're going to be able to take out that shadow pseudo wudo now if you rewind it or go back and look through the shield it looks completely evil <laughs> has the most sinister look on its face it was so weird all right so that's going to be about a wrap folks if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new turn notifications on and i'll be able to keep you up to date on some more battles as well as the news all right so make sure you got those notifications on and i'll be catching you all next time take care sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic!